Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today to share with you the November block of the month. I can't believe we are almost at the end of this sew along but this month's block is is a favorite i i love how both of my versions turned out and i've got some tips and tricks to share with you and let's just go ahead and get started Okay, here we are with our November block. And this is really one of my favorite blocks in the whole qu quilt, I think. Well, I don't know, I probably keep saying that. But I do love a sawtooth star. And I do love a sawtooth star even more when it has scrappy star points. And I love it even more with a scrappy center. So this has all of those things. And I used, I think I used, yeah, I used eight different fabrics for the star points in both blocks. And I did use the block lock trim tool for these. Now, I know I've talked a lot about the Creative Grids version, and I love that too. But since these were all different, and I wasn't making four the same, I did go ahead and use the block lock. And I'll, I'll put the sizes for each of those in the description below and, and on the blog post. You can find that so really great you know way to make when you're just making a, a single flying geese flying block you will just the block lock just makes it easier okay and then for the center four patches i used four different low volumes for this one i thought that was really really fun and for this one i did two low volumes and two blues i just these blocks are just perfect for playing around and really having fun with your fabrics and your scraps and your stash. Really just a really fun block. This would make a really fun quilt just to make a whole quilt with these blocks. I'll go ahead and show you the back. And so I did the four patch. I flipped the seam in the center of the four patch and then pressed the two flying geese units on the side into the four patch. And then I also pressed the top and the bottom row into the center row. So really another pretty simple block and even pretty simple in the smaller size. But again, so much that you can do with this month's block. Okay, so that's it for the November block of the month. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We will have all of the information that you need in the description below, including how to get the the PDF patterns, as I mentioned last month, we are trying to make that a bit easier for you and working on some things behind the scenes. And we'll definitely, if we don't already have that set up, we'll have it ready soon, but it will just make it easier for you to get the, the patterns delivered to your inbox. One more thing I wanted to mention was that December 1st is on a Thursday. So the first Thursday of the month, we will have the December block and we will have the finishing instructions for you one week later. So you will have everything you need early in the month of December to get these quilts all put together. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.